though what's going on champs we got another situation out of our hands okay what's going on toxic gamers what's going on problematic people because that's what they want to label us as but i want to know like where you guys at like the video if you believe in innocent till proven guilty dislike the video if you're saying it's guilty until proven innocent i want to i want to see like where you guys at because this doctor disrespect situation has been really really wild right i got a video that i want to share with you guys and uh regardless where wherever you are right like some people of course are 50 50 with it they want to see some more evidence uh a lot of people are calling him guilty a lot of people are also saying that he's innocent and uh, yeah like i'm seeing everybody's take on this situation and it's just not ending right now we're hearing that three months okay this is a brand new story guys so three months after firing dr disrespect dead rob which is uh you know the studio that he founded the uh, dead rob and the game of course uh, dead rob developer midnight society confirmed significant layoffs oh, shit. significant layoffs man i won't be shocked if these suckers shut that company down because they fired dr disrespect as soon as we had the these reports of dr disrespect and you know like him diddling kids this and that he's accused of that crap and it's absolutely wild right like he got fired from his own company right by the way these are accusations these are allegations okay like cody connor started it all and it's just wild uh where we are at with it uh, by the way if you guys do use twitter i would definitely love to have you there so this is where we at now right first they fired the founder and now they are laying off even more people right and check out these comments right so robert balling the guy that was behind modern warfare 2009 and uh you know dr disrespect ended up having him as a business partner of course robert balling put out a statement a while ago when this situation was happening he said uh, you know i'm paraphrasing not like quoting him directly but he uh, basically he said that he don't wanna associate with people like that he has seen evidence and he only acted on facts that th that's what he said right uh man said that robert balling is such a effing retweet damn Bruh. after this company closes nobody in the industry should ever hire him again what a dumbass is what he said worth it to not be with a predator good work midnight society lol block any refutal of errors man says that that what that's what doc meant on his stream when he said cody ruined other people's lives well to be honest even if it wasn't a pd it's not like the game they were making was any good damn uh man laughing out there brothers laughing out there though who lols did they even made the game it sucks but they had all their eggs in their predator basket so you know calling dr disrespect out like that his repetition tarnished tarnished there so the situation is a disaster right now okay shout out to the homie geeks and gamers check this Spec story continues to be a very very confusing story to say the least and now we have this story from that park place developer midnight society lays off 50 percent of its staff less than three months after Holy. severing ties with dr disrespect video game developer midnight society which is developing dead drop reportedly laid off nearly half of its staff less than three months after severing ties with streamer and personality dr disrespect aka guy beam midnight no, no okay i i get it okay in a way i get it like you guys fired I, I mean i don't get it right but okay like for a second right they fired dr disrespect why are you firing like the rest of the devs that is crazy that is crazy at this point bruh like uh, listen man whether you think doc is guilty or not okay that's your take that's your take right whether you think he's guilty or not guilty this game is cooked without doctor disrespect being there because that's that was his game right that's uh and, and listen i'm not defending doc here and i'm also not accusing him i'm just trying to cover both sides there i'm trying to be unbiased as possible and cover the story and cover the facts that we know and uh the very little facts that we know about the story and what doc said uh in on twitter what doc said in a live stream right what cody said what's going on here what he said she said and it's more like he said she said kind of situation but you feel what i'm saying right like okay you guys fired dr disrespect but you guys firing like half of the studio damn y'all suck is crazy and without doc there i don't know right like how this i, I think it's safe to say that that game is over you guys believe that game is over let me know in the comments society announced it was severing ties with beam at the end of june the company wrote on x on friday evening we became aware of an allegation against one of our co-founders guy beam aka dr disrespect we assumed his innocence and began speaking with parties involved okay let's stop right there now i've given my opinions on the whole dr disrespect story and the only thing that i've had a real problem with was his tweet which he has since deleted and he has since said that he was basically using that as a way to bait people i know what he's saying i just have a hard time buying it none of that makes sense to me
to, to why you would bait people into thinking that you are the worst thing you can be, essentially. Uh, context, he's trying to say, you know, now the tweet is deleted. He basically put out a statement, and in that statement, he said, Dr. Disrespect himself said that he messaged an individual minor, and sometimes the conversation leaned inappropriately. Not my words, that's what Dr. Disrespect and uh, Dr. Disrespect said. And, and yeah, that's the thing that a lot of people have issues with, and understandably, because that's his own response. That's what Dr. Disrespect said himself and, and he basically shot himself right there right because right now dr disrespect is coming out and saying that yeah he did not message a minor uh sexually he was not sexting a minor like that and, and basically he also said that this uh the, he was not charged legally as well that's also what we're hearing so yeah right and uh, that's what we know so far and uh, the fact that he said that even after you know what, and, and now Dr. Disrespect is saying that he's trying to, like, bait the, the journalist. He baited the journalist and they fell for it, like... Yeah, I mean, he shouldn't... Honestly, bro, like, whether you think he was guilty or not guilty, this is one thing that Dr. Disrespect shouldn't have said. That uh, Unless he really did do that, right? Because if he didn't do what Cody is claiming he did, what the accusations are saying, he shot himself, man! Why say that if you did not do that, right? So, yeah, that's uh, basically what it is saying. And I, I want to know your thoughts on it. You think he really was baiting the journalist with that? Uh, would you do it? For example, right? Like, all the world is calling you uh, a PDF, right? Would you then go ahead and say what Dr. Disrespect said online? Would you say that? Let, let, to bait people. To bait people. Would you say that? Let me know, man. I think most of you probably wouldn't, man. But, um, okay, maybe he's playing 4D chess. I don't understand that. Maybe he's playing 4D chess that I don't get, but there whatever. Forget all of that for a minute, though. I want to talk about what we're seeing right here, right now from Midnight Society. So let's take this for what we know. That all of this happened all of these years ago on Twitch. And after that happened, and after yeah, he was fully weird. investigated, and Twitch still paid him off, they, then he creates this company, Midnight Society, or maybe Midnight yeah, Society yeah, was yeah. a thing back then. I don't know. Maybe they took it to the next level. I don't know the ins and outs. Don't. Yeah, maybe behind the scenes they were still talking about it, right? And then, yeah, it feels like that. Okay, so for context, right? Apparently, we're hearing that Dr. Disrespect was uh, messaging a minor inappropriately. I mean, these are the words of Dr. Disrespect. Cody came out in 2024. So, like, seven years later, he exposes, right? And Twitch found out about Dr. Disrespect messaging a minor uh, inappropriately uh, and they banned him in 2020 i mean they found out in 2017 so why you guys didn't ban him uh right then and there so yeah that's the confusing part to a lot of people and, and what we're learning is that they investigated legally they investigated and they found nothing wrong uh so during a stream dr disrespect also talked about it as well and it feels like it really feels like that based on off of what we're hearing from both sides that it was uh, perhaps a mi it was a minor, but a consenting minor. We don't know the age, so let me be very clear. But based off of the information, it seems like that dog messaged a 16-year-old or a 17-year-old. And so far, we do not know whether it was a chick or a man. Of course, it's assumed that it's a chick, right? Uh, listen, I'm not defending dog. I'm just covering the news as is in an unbiased way, okay? A lot of people calling him PDF. A lot of people also saying he's not. A lot of people calling him a creeper. Based off of the information given at hand, I personally, that's personal opinion, I don't think he's a PDF, though. I guess uh, you can call him a creeper, because, uh, yeah, he was 30-some uh, year old, uh, 35, 37, messaging 16-year-old. And, by the way, we do not know what he said, right? And they found, in the court of law, they found him clear. That's what we're hearing. Listen, that's not my opinion, guys. That's what we're hearing. I guess if you want to call him a creep, okay, but labeling him as a PDF... I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right because there are actual real PDFs out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and, and that's severe, man. And of course, like justice needs to be served uh, to the PDFs out there. They should be permanently locked away, or absolutely right. But to say that Doc is one when we have that little evidence, I think that's ludicrous. I, I guess you can be 50/50 on it, but to call him PDF and you can call him a creep if you want to, of course. Uh, but to call him PDF, I think that's a little, uh, a little wild, a little wild. But if you want to still go ahead and call him, I mean, that, that's your opinion, that's your opinion, man. I'm just trying to cover both sides here, fellas. Follow all the stuff with him. But regardless, whatever happened, happened years and years ago for Twitch. And now because some random person on Twitter 
makes a comment, Cody Connors, suddenly now Midnight Society is going, oh, this, we have to look into this. Well, it had been looked into by Twitch, yeah, and Twitch yeah. said nothing. In fact, they paid out his contract. So then you guys cut ties with him based yeah. off of whatever it no yeah it does look very bad on twitch and this thing right here makes it 100 percent sound like that doc is innocent right but this is a factor like listen i'm trying to be as unbiased as possible and the other side is also saying which is fair and this is something that we heard when this news was first broken like two months ago when doc uh, was apparently accused by cody Right now, he's coming out and we were getting more information, right, of course. But uh, when this in information first broke, we did hear that Twitch, uh, the reason Twitch did not talk about it publicly is because Twitch uh, illegally, <clears throat> illegally went inside the DMs of Dr. Disrespect and catch him like that, right? Illegally, and they were supposed to not read uh, the whispers, the messages, right? That was illegal to do. And that's why they did not talk about it publicly. And that's like those uh, moments. That's like the gotcha moment right there. And that's why Doc uh, apparently settled this privately behind the scenes. And Twitch also paid him out his contract because they signed the contract before uh, all of that went down. It's confusing, I get it. But that's like the other side of the coin as well. But it's still odd as to it happening in 2017 then twitch banning him in 2020 and nothing going on right and in 2024 and nothing happened and then 2024 is like cody connors exposes it doc says what he says on twitter then gets demonetized by youtube as well uh and, and everybody drops him all the sponsors drops him the the studio robert balling says that he uh, only acted on facts right like that's what robert balling said so did robert balling see evidence if so what was it what did he see right and now we're hearing that three months after they're now laying off 50 percent of the staff like this is crazy this is crazy it is this was but according to doc and i'm not going to say according to twitch but by default i guess twitch has never provided anything Twitch has never provided anything, so by that standard, there's nothing you can hold him accountable for, and Doc is denying that anything happened, so why did you fire the guy? He's the founder of the company. Yeah. This makes no sense. Now, yeah, I know yeah, Doc yeah. did say that like it was a mutual decision. I think that's bullshit. I think they wanted to get rid of him based on this, based on whatever. I don't know. Yeah. But the point being is that when you get rid of Dr. Disrespect from a Dr. Disrespect founded company... Guess what's going to happen next? You're going to lose your entire company. Absolutely. So we get here. In order to maintain our prim principles and standards as a studio and individuals, we needed to act. For this reason, we are terminating our relationship with Guy Beam immediately. It then added, while these facts are difficult to hear and even more difficult to accept, it is our duty to act with dignity on behalf of all individuals involved, especially the 55 developers and families we have employed along with our community of players. Well, half of them don't have a job now because of this decision. Yeah. Now, again, I can... I can see yeah it's one of those things right like uh, everybody get hurt in the process though like uh, that those devs uh yeah now they gotta find another job or look into getting uh, hired by another uh, developer company too here and tell you like personally i am not comfortable with doc and his whole like oh, i was just trolling that's why i said that i did this i think that's just absolute just insanity to buy into that and i know i'm gonna get crushed in the comments by the doc fans boys yeah. bring it on it's fine no uh, no listen like listen man like i'm trying to be unbiased as possible and trying to cover both sides and of course that, those were the words of doc and uh i i guess uh, understandably man that's fair to say like yeah geeks have a problem issue with that i mean that's your right man that's your right a lot of people have that issue as well and i'm also saying that bro like damn man that that's the only thing right now that's the only thing right now because doc uh doc might be innocent but or maybe he is innocent i uh, listen i don't know fellas maybe he's innocent maybe he's not all right we're just uh trying to cover both sides here we're in not even both sides we're just trying to cover the facts out here right you were covering like everything that there's out there and there are a lot of holes in this story right now there are a lot of holes but the biggest thing right now that makes doc look bad is his own words and he let that tweet be up for like a month and a half and now he deletes it that is crazy and now he says that he was trying to bait journalists yeah that don't look good but there are of course other situations like hey he was not charged uh right he's not behind bars as well uh the the, the matter was settled with twitch so all of that makes it sound like that he is innocent innocent in a way where he's not a pdf but I guess if you want to call him a creeper based off of the information, I mean, yeah, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. So that's that. That's what we know so far. But what happened um, next? Let's see. But for getting 
my opinion on that, I want to know why did the company make this decision? Because what did they see that they're not releasing to the public in order to make this decision? Yeah. If there's something that you guys saw that led you to make this decision, then shouldn't you release that to the public? so that the public can see whatever it is it was. And if you don't have anything to show the public, so you just made a knee-jerk reaction based off of some weirdo from Twitter or from Twitch, then what are we doing here? Yeah. You, you got rid yeah, of the yeah. guy that founded the company and now you've lost half your staff. Yeah, yo, imagine if this is like, that's a very good point, right? Like imagine th th they didn't even see any evidence. If they, they didn't even see any, any proof, they're just like, yeah, we're just gonna run with the uh, <laughs> with what uh, Cody Connor said, ex Twitch employee, and, and we're just gonna fire him, and now they're firing half of the dev. And it's like this game was in development for how many years? I don't know. I feel like that at least uh, more than three years for damn sure. This game is uh, supposed to launch next year, even. Uh, and are we, when did we hear about this? Okay, they, they founded the studio in 2021, right? Oh shit, yeah. So by the time it comes out, at least four years, four years, and I'm sure they were thinking about putting this game together even before 2021 so this was in the process for at least by the time it comes out five six years that is insane right and for how long doc must have been uh thinking about making his own game right dreams getting crushed left and right man that's actually real real sad uh if it turns out that doc is completely innocent i, I mean listen man like if you really message a minor that was like 16 17 i'm talking i'm not even gonna go in the direction of like other countries right us alone the, the the consenting age is 16 uh in a lot of states right and we don't even know what he messaged uh maybe it was a locker room talk i'm not trying to defend doc yes it's bad like he shouldn't have done what he has done what we're hearing he has done but 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 what he now he's saying that he's not guilty and based off of everything that we're hearing if he's not guilty then that is unjust that is unjust uh, to people that are losing the jobs and and for surely to a lot of degree to doc as well for not being part of the team anymore because that was his vision right i you can call him a creep but guys being called a creep is it's bad it's bad <laughs> i don't want to be labeled as a creep you don't want to be labeled as a creep i get it though right i i get it though but being called and being a creep is way different than being a pdf though there are levels to this ish bruh there are levels to this pdf is i mean damn you, you feel what i'm saying but creep is like you, you know what i'm saying like uh yeah 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 i'm just asking questions right now because we don't have any thing we have nothing we have no no twitch whisper messages we don't have any uh we don't have any on the record comments from any alleged victims we yeah. don't have anything we have former twitch employees running their mouths we have esports reporters that are creeps in their own right running their mouths about Doc. What do we have other than what Doc has said, which I have I've stated where I stand on that. Will the evidence ever come out? Let's find out next, folks. And this is what Dr. Disrespect Associates said. So they went on record, public record, and on video, this is what they said, right? Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. Insane drama, 